Hi there ladies and gents, in this video I will share different tips and tricks uh, which will be very useful in the beginning of the next wipe. And first of all we need to exit the game because the first tip is going to be about the launcher on the wipe day. So on the wipe day all of us will have to open the launcher and download the game update. Two things which I really want to mention. First of all, log into the launcher in advance. I'm not sure if there will be any problems with login. And just, just have it open because some time ago during the Twitch drops we had problems with Tarkov servers and in order to play the game there was a queue, a huge queue of like 60, maybe like 70,000 people and some of us had to wait for a couple of hours just to be able to play the game. So open the launcher in advance just in case. Secondly, go to the launcher settings and enable auto update, which is right there. Enable automatic updates and make sure you set the speed to unlimited. This thing is to do with the actual patch update. Uh, when the game is gonna patch, lots of people will be trying to get into the launcher, lots of people will be trying to download the game. And if you have uh, automatic updates selected, you won't need to check for the updates, you won't need to click play, play, play the game many times. It's gonna update yourself. A few apps ago, people who did not have this option selected could not update the game. So make sure you do this. Another thing which I want to talk about is the download speed. Typically, when the wipe hits, download speeds are very low, so don't be surprised. Everybody will be getting very slow download speeds, and it will depend on your region. So changing changing your in-game server, selecting Europe or selecting NA, is not going to make any difference, so don't do that. The only, the only way to select the region from which you're going to be downloading the content is by using a VPN. Um, so yeah, if you really want to, off you go, but I recommend just waiting. After you finish downloading the update, which might take a while, also whenever you're at 100% download, uh, the game will start installing it. It's gonna be it's gonna be stuck for a bit, so don't really worry about that. It might be stuck there for a minute, two, three, or five, and then try to select as many server regions as possible. I'll probably select all EU servers, all Russia, and one and eight. That is to do with the fact that, that the servers will be overloaded when you play, and the more regions you select the shorter will be your matchmaking time. So if you select only one region, you will matchmake for 10 minutes. If you select all of them, you will probably find a game within 3 or 2 minutes. So make sure you do that too. After you launch the game, you will need to select your faction, either Bear or Yusek. I went with a Bear this wipe, because I haven't played Bear before and it was pretty cool. But for the next wipe, uh, general advice to the players would be selecting Yusek for one simple reason. If you're a Yusek and you haven't been hostile towards rogues on the lighthouse, you can actually come close to them and they don't shoot you. If you're a bear, no matter if you're friendly or not, they will shoot you from really far away and you will have no chance coming close to them. From what Nikita said within the past few podcasts, we're not getting any bosses or any special type of AI on Streets of Tarkov, therefore there is no reason to choose bear just yet. If you play Zabur in Streets of Tarkov, you will also get schmacked same as, as a Yusek, so there is literally no difference. However, on Lighthouse there is. So if you want the game to be a little bit easier, if you want to have some additional experience, play as a Yusek. I was thinking of talking about the quests for a while in this video, however Nikita mentioned that some of the quests might be changed, as well as their order. So the quests which you've seen this wipe in the beginning um, of your Tarkov progression, they might, be, uh, they might be later on, on the quest tree, if it makes sense. Bro, I don't even feel like I'm speaking English. Anyway, the only thing which I want to mention is that there is a picture with the old items which you need for all the quests and all those items have to be found in Raid, well, except the keys. Uh, and I'll, I'll link this picture down in the description below. Most of the quests are very likely to stay the same, so feel free to use it if you want to collect all of those items in advance. Let's talk a bit about money making in the beginning of the wipe. I would say um, there is a way to make money before you unlock the flea market and after. So if you don't have flea market unlocked, I would recommend running as a scav. I typically like doing factory because first of all it's really quick. You go in, you, go, you run straight to extraction, maybe loot one or two scavs on your way to extraction. You leave, you can sell the scavs gear and make 100k, 150k, just like this. And the second way is farming Jaeger stashes. There are plenty of different maps online which you can find with Jaeger stashes. Uh, I'm gonna link one in the description down below, which I personally enjoy. And Jaeger stashes come with random items. Uh, some of them can be expensive, some of them might be cheap, but it's a relatively safe method of making money. That's till you unlock the flea market. When you unlock the flea, there is an amazing method to make money. 
you need to go into your hideout and just see what items are required for the upgrades. Those items are going to be extremely expensive in the beginning of the wipe. Let me give you a couple, a couple of examples. A lot of bolts are required for the construction of uh, different items in your hideout. And right now you can buy bolts for 10k um, on the flea market, which is very cheap. Typically before the pre-wipe, like a few weeks ago, that would have been 20-25k. In the beginning of the wipe, people will be selling bolts for around 70 to 90k. 90,000 per one item. Same thing applies for the um, hoses, corrugated hose. Those things are going to be around 150, uh, 250,000 rubles uh, per item in the beginning uh, of the wipe. And the same thing applies to, to nuts. Nuts are going to be extremely expensive too. So monitor those type of um, so those type of items and sell them on the flea. I recommend doing this within the first two weeks uh, of the wipe because after the first two weeks plenty of people would have upgraded their hideout and the prices are going to stabilize and they're going to go down. However, if you, if you play really fast and you accumulated some amount of money, I would say a good choice would be buying uh, GPUs because they're going to be pretty cheap in the beginning of the wipe. People will sell them for 150, 200k on the flea market as nobody has Bitcoin farm yet. And the further people progress into the wipe, the more expensive it's going to become. So if you know that 100% you're going to build a Bitcoin farm, try to get those GPUs in advance. One of the things I'm getting asked pretty often on my stream uh, during the beginning of the wipe, people ask how to finish quests and actually survive because they, they, they simply can't. And the best advice to give is simply avoid the fights. If you see players, ignore them. Don't push the shots. Don't fight the players in dorms. Do your quests and try to extract. And the second option is playing nighttime. Generally, people who play nighttime, they also try to avoid fights, just as you do. And generally, there is less action happening. People don't really have night visions. They can't really see much. And therefore, they just calmly walk through the map, do their quests and leave. So that's my advice. If you get tired of doing quests, but you still want to level up, you still want to achieve max shredders, I advise you to go and play a lighthouse. You can get a very cheap um, sniper rifle with any scope anything anything which suits you and just go and snap rogues that will help you with a couple of things first of all if you know how to farm money on lighthouse i have a couple of guides but i make i might make more if the loot changes uh you can make money on lighthouse secondly you level up your sniper skill which you will later need for um for the quests and thirdly you get a lot of xp by headshotting rogues right now um scavs raiders and rogues they have different amount of um xp which you get for killing them and therefore, killing rogues is one of the best stats. I think you can get around 12 to 15,000 XP per rate, which is very decent in the beginning of the wipe. And the other option is to farm factory, but for that, you need semi decent gear and you need to be good at PvP. Farming factory actually involves you killing all the players and resetting. I think you can make around the same amount of XP per hour farming factory and lighthouse, but lighthouse is a bit easier for casual players as long as you know how to kill the rogues. Last but not least, if you're really struggling and you need someone's help, you should go to official Tarkov's Discord. There are plenty of really wonderful people which will help you out, uh, do a couple of raids with you, teach you things, uh, and you can just find teammates you will play uh, later on in the game, for example. Uh, so yeah, even if nothing is working out for you, don't be sad. Go to Discord and find some teammates. So yeah, I think I'm more or less done with uh, giving you different advices and tips. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts down in the comments below. And yeah, I think I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.